Hi, I'm Fritz Maytag, owner and brewmaster of the Anchor Brewing Company. Anchor Brewing started back about uh, something like 1870. The brewery has moved many times. This is the sixth or seventh location for the brewery. We've been here for 30 years now, but it's always been in San Francisco. And I have consciously tried to keep our company in a small size. I think there's something wonderful about the sense of being on a team and knowing that we are all responsible for everything we do. And so if there's a sense of responsibility, then there's more quality. We make beer here from start to finish. Uh, we pride ourselves on being very traditional in our brewing methods. Our brew house is copper. This is the old, old, original way of brewing. We start with uh, three basic ingredients. We start with hops, which if you crush them, are very aromatic, smells, smells almost like a pine cone. And in brewing, it's terribly important for flavor and aroma. We use only a malted barley in our principal products and very old fashioned, but in the modern world, well, until recently, that was quite unusual. And now we have the raw material that we need for the yeast to ferment. When beer ferments, it gets warm and it has to be kept cool or it'll get too warm. And it'll either spoil or stop fermenting. In the old days, they didn't have refrigeration. All they had was cool weather. And that's one thing we have a lot of in San Francisco. So Anchor Steam, our main product, is cooled during fermentation simply by bringing outside air into the fermenting room and keeping the beer cool that way. Quality in brewing is everything in the modern world because, of course, the once upon a time beers were made quickly and drunk quickly. But nowadays, the beer is, is put in a bottle and it's taken across town or across the state. A very important part of quality is to make it consistent, to make each brew the same as the previous brew. I want people to come in the door and, and fall down because they're so happy that they saw what they were hoping to see, copper kettles with wooden surroundings and real people turning the handles and actually making the beer. It's very similar to what, to what we see when we open the Pottery Barn catalog. These are real things. And, respect for the materials and for the design and for the, for the integration of things and people. And that's sort of our company philosophy. One of the wonderful things about entertaining with beer is that one kind of beer or another will go with every imaginable kind of food. It's an interesting fact to me that you just can't think of a, of a food uh, that doesn't go with a beer. One of the nice things about beer is everybody has an opinion and there's no, there's no rule. You don't have to have you know, red beer with meat and white beer with fish or anything. You spread a joyous table of food and then you have a joyous uh, collection of beers and you can't go wrong. But summer flavors are, more, are lighter and more cheerful and more um, outdoor feeling and uh, summer beer seems to go with that.